Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. In today's session, we are going to see about introduction to cryptocurrency. Myself, Priya Dashini, working as an assistant professor in Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. First, we will see about what is cryptocurrency. So, cryptocurrency is nothing but a digital or virtual currency. As we all know, it is similar to the real-time currency, but it does not have any physical embodiment. That means you cannot touch or feel the currency. Here it uses cryptography to work. It uses encryption algorithm. Then cryptocurrency operate independently in a decentralized manner. It does not comes under any bank or central authority. The most popular cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. So now we will see how we came across the cryptocurrency. So you all know that what is money. So money is used as a exchange, medium of exchange to buy or sell goods. Okay. So in caveman's era, we used barter system. So bartering is nothing but instead of money, we used goods in exchange. So if a person A wants something from person B, they will exchange in terms of goods. For example, <coughs> if person A has five apples, so he will give that apples to the person B and get his oranges. Okay, that is how the transfer happens. That is the medium of exchange in barter system. Then in ancient civilization, we have gold. Gold as a medium of exchange. Then in 1900, fiat currency. After the government has established, we used fiat currency. So fiat currency is nothing but the real money, physical money that we use now. That is issued by our government and RBI. Then in 1990s, we came across the technology boom that has given us electronic cards. So electronic cards is nothing but the bank that has given us the debit and credit cards. Now we also came to digital transactions. So digital transactions you know as UPI payments. So we have lot of UPI payment apps such as Paytm, Google Pay, Phone Pay, then PayPal. So lots over. Then comes your cryptocurrency in 2000. Cryptocurrency is a technology boom in the new era at present year. So as we all know that Bitcoin is the most popular one. Bitcoin is not only the most popular one, it is the first created cryptocurrency that paved way for all other currencies, altcoins that is available in the crypto market. Okay, so in 2023, there are nearly 1600 altcoins available in the market and the most popular ones are Bitcoin, Ether coins and Tether coins and Doge coins. Then Bitcoin is first created by the person Satoshi Nakamoto in the year 2008. So it is well known currency and Bitcoin is the first invention and first example of blockchain technology. Now we will see how cryptocurrency works. So you all know how your traditional payment works, right? So if a person A wants to send something to person B, so a person B will go to the bank, so he will transfer to the particular person B and then from the particular bank the person B will receive a amount. So there will all be is a middleman agent in terms of traditional currencies. But in terms of cryptocurrency we will see how it works. So in terms a person A want to send money to person B that particular transaction will be represented as a block. The block is broadcasted to everyone in the network. Once the network is approved then that particular block will be added to the chain. Okay, once the block is valid and it is added to the chain, then that particular block is ineditable and transparent. Then the person B receives money from A. Here you can see that as of in traditional currencies, there is no intermediary person available here. So directly a person A gets money from person B. Okay, this is how your cryptocurrency works. Then finally, we will see the difference between the traditional currency versus cryptocurrency. So fiat money versus Bitcoin we will see. So fiat money as you all know, it is issued by our government. Whereas cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is a decentralized, it is created in a decentralized and distributed computing. So you all know that Bitcoin is a piece of programmable code. Okay, then it is governed by our central bank and it is covered by majority rule. So what is majority rule is like network consensus. So you have lot of consensus algorithm in cryptocurrency. We will see that in the next session very briefly. So here 
for each and every transaction a intermediary is needed it can be a bank or payment providers whereas here the transaction involves only the two parties who is going to send the money and who is going to receive the money then finally here charging back is possible in terms of transaction whereas here charge back is not possible okay now we all learnt about the introduction about cryptocurrency and got some valuable input so in our next session we'll see about our next network consensus how it is worked in cryptocurrency so until then thank you